need some coins to make those new beastly pickups, head on over to GoBuyMMO.com and use code ZERK for a 5% discount on your order. Get those coins, get those players. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Zershim today with another YouTube video. Today we have NFL Offensive Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year, Aaron Donald and Todd Gurley. Pretty interesting to see. They have a pair of teammates getting the Offensive Player and Defensive Player of the Year and then a pair of teammates getting the Offensive Rookie and Defensive Rookie. But if you guys haven't seen my video from like super early this morning, I dropped it at like 12.30 a.m. Just because I wanted to get the video for you guys very quickly. Basically, sell your team as soon as possible because coming up, there was a little post that people found on Twitter and were posting to every single place, as well as xryan 915 tweeted you know, 18 times. And it's, if you actually look at the spelling of it, it said Ultimate Legends. If you want one by one down the line, it said Ultimate Legends. So, Ultimate Legends are for sure coming this weekend. I do believe there's going to be 10 Ultimate Legends. And with that being said, 10 of them one of them is confirmed michael vick michael vick is always an ultimate legend every single year zero doubt about it so the market is going to take a ginormous crash so if you guys haven't sold your team already please sell your team right now today's thursday this could come out either friday night or saturday morning so if I had to guess, I'd probably say Friday night, to be honest, because they did it last year. I do believe on a Friday night, they dropped four Ultimate Legends. But if they drop 10, and if we have 10 limited time cards in packs as well, that would be absolutely ridiculous. So the price of the market is... <laughs> the market's going to take a ginormous system. So please, guys, sell your team right now. Also, I want to say thank you for the support on the video. It literally has like 200 likes and like only one dislike. So thank you guys very much for that. And... This is the team that I'm going to be rocking out with, of course, because I already did sell my team. And hopefully the market will completely plummet. I guarantee you that if there's 10 Ultimate Legends on the auction block, it's going to be pretty damn bad. Now, not only will we have 10 Ultimate Legends in sets, we will also have 10 boss cards in packs. And right now, as you guys already know, the only 99 overall card is Nick Foles. And he's already below 800k now because, of course, people are pretty scared about this. And they are definitely going to be selling their cards. I know a ton of people on Twitter already started selling their teams. As you guys can see, Calvin Johnson, 310,000 coins already. Aaron Donald's down to 420k. Carson Wentz, 520. The market has already started to take quite a bit of a hit from this. Alvin Kamara's 570k. Keenan Allen's 620k. I mean, people have really noticed that this is going to happen. And people are selling their team off. So you guys haven't already started to sell your team please go ahead and sell your team because just take a look at this james devlin 100k dan marino i'm sure quarterbacks are taking a ginormous head as well because of course with michael vick coming out dan marino is 160k keep looking philip rivers 219 kurt warner 220 tom brady down to 250,000 coins as well as dante culper being 445k right off the rip now 92 to 93 is i'm kind of curious to see what the base version of Vic is already going for maybe he's going for a little bit under 200k 170k already for Vic he's usually around 200k but people really do believe this is going to come out and I guarantee you guys this will come out this weekend it always is the weekend right after the Super Bowl promo Michael Irvin 66,000 coins for him hopefully they drop some type of a beastly wide receiver as well we could definitely see a Calvin Johnson maybe Ultimate Legend as you can see Marvin Harrison is already 200k I mean, guys, the market is already starting to crash because people think this is going to come out, and I know it's going to come out. So please, sell your team while you still can because you guys are losing profit minute by minute that you guys don't go ahead and sell your team. So let's go ahead and get into these bundles. Now, it looks like we have a new Super Bowl bundle, 10 Super Bowl packs, as well as a big game bundle. This would be the last, probably the last bundle for the... Uh, for the Super Bowl promo, contains 16 Super Bowl packs, 7 Lombardi packs, and a top team 89 to a 93 overall Super Player. And that costs 8,900 points. Now we also have a Super Bowl collectible. Let's go ahead and get into this. I think this should give us a quick sell. So hopefully we'll be getting something good out of this. Maybe give us like 5,000 coins, maybe. And we're going to get ourselves a 7,500 coin quick. So I didn't even know you could get that much. So thank you very much for that, EA. 
Now we are also going to do our daily pack as usual. Once again, just gaining these Ladanian Thomas and Tokens. I have a ton of these now. I think I have like almost 30, if not 30. So we also get a Jonathan Cooper out of that pack, which will should sell for a decent amount of coins because this is a gold cowboy. And we get our Ladanian Tomlinson token now for A. Redonald and Todd Gurley. Once again, guys, do not do these game changer packs. These are really a ripoff, to be honest. 10, 10 gold or better players, of course, with 60,000 coins. The gold or better is technically a better chance at pulling something than, you know, doing gold player packs. But at the same time, in the gold player packs, you also get yourself, you know, the silver cards and a silver or better player. So you can get yourself more gold. It really is just ridiculous. I mean, technically you can pull, you know, 10 elites out of the game changer packs, but no one is going to pull them and he might pull a max to like three, maybe four if you're lucky. Now doing the gold player packs, you might just get as lucky doing this. So hopefully we're able to get ourselves something and maybe even just an elite. Like yesterday I didn't even pull an elite. <sighs> 81 Alejandro Villanueva. I'm not too sure why, but I was definitely expecting this to be like Aaron Donald. On to the next pack. My pack look has not been good ever since I pulled RG3. As we get Henry Anderson. I'm going to review all. And we get Leo Collins and Desmond Bryant. So we get three golds back to back to back right there in that pack. On to the next pack. And we get... 74 Leroy Reynolds, and it looks like that's it. Let's see what the speed is. 78. I was kind of curious because he looked a little fast. Andrew Hawkins, and last gold player pack for the video. What are we going to get? 72 Chris Smith, reveal all. We got 74 B or Ben. Ben Heaney. I almost said B Henny. But also, with this being said, the market crashing, we are definitely going to be seeing some squad builders flying out. I'm going to try to get some gameplay with the new Ultimate Legends when they do drop as well. And let's go see how much this Alejandro Villanueva is selling for, and then we can check the auction block and see if Aaron Donald and Todd Gurley are up just yet. Villanueva is going for 2,200 coins, so obviously not very good there. Let's go ahead and throw him up for 2,100 coins, which I spent 30k on those packs, and it's definitely not worth it, but... For the Ultimate Legends, maybe I'll go ahead and just do a big pack opening because you definitely do not want to miss out on Ultimate Legends. They're going to be going for a ton, especially if you pull Mike Vick. He is going to be oh, he is going to be selling like crazy for a ton of coins. NF Honors, let's go ahead and see if the newest guys are up. But as you guys can see, Keenan Allen's already 555k. Alvin Kamara's 562. Even the NFL Honors players are taking a hit because they know. That these other cards are going to be coming out. It doesn't look like we have Todd Gurley and Aaron Donald up just yet. So let's just refresh one more time. And I don't think that they are up just yet. We have Aaron Donald, 98 overall left. And I kind of wish he was still a defensive tackle. Unfortunately, he is a left end now. But 85 speed, 96 strength is absolutely ridiculous. 92 acceleration, he also has a 96 tackle, 96 block shed, 96 power move, 90 finesse move, also a 94 player, and he has jump the snap chemistry, as well as blanket coverage times too, so this card is definitely an absolute beast. And now he also has a catching of a 68, which isn't too bad, he also has a jumping of an 80, I don't know if he has good zone coverage, we can check that out, he has a zone coverage of a 65 and a stamina of a 94, so if he was a defensive tackle, best one in the game defensive end still probably the best one in the game so really you can put him anywhere you want and he's gonna be an absolute beast so and he has 85 speed we can compare him to jj watt who has 82 speed 96 strength 96 block shed aaron donald has 96 strength 96 block shed 96 power move 90 finesse jj watt has 96 power move 88 finesse 86 excel with a 93 tackle and aaron donald has 92 excel with a 96 tackle so in my opinion Aaron Donald is a better defensive end than J.J. Watt, and of course, you know, they are two different positions, right end and left end, and I'm looking for Todd Gurley, but I don't seem to find him, but I actually do have one more thing I need to show you guys, just to kind of prove farther more that this is going to happen on Friday night with the Ultimate Legends. If you take a look when this bundle expires, the Super Bowl bundle expires on at 7 p.m. on Friday night, so definitely expect to see Ultimate, Legend, uh, Ultimate Legends dropping at 7 p.m. on Friday, I'd be ready because there are going to be 10 new Ultimate Legends and it's going to be absolute beastly. So let's go ahead and see if we can find Todd Gurley up now. And it looks like I'm a Kamara King now. It's still going to be sitting around 550k and I don't seem to see a Todd Gurley up just yet. Now we also have Todd Gurley finally up on the auction block with Energizer Chemistry. 95 speed, 96 agility, 
95 basically everything else and then 88 trucking with a 76 strength and a catching of an 86. Now he also has a route running and a catching traffic of 82 and 81 and a stamina of, I think I already passed by the stamina, but I actually want to compare him 95 to the Alvin Kamara because I'm kind of curious to see just how well they match up against each other. But So let's take a look really quickly and see what their stats are looking like compared to one another. So we have Todd Gurley who has 95 basically everything and then 88 trucking, Alvin Kamara 94 in a lot of categories and then you know two more excel over Todd Gurley but doesn't have as much trucking but he does have better catching so maybe this Todd Gurley is a little bit better and of course with a little bit extra trucking hopefully he is a little bit better but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment and make sure you guys go ahead and sell your team I will see you guys next time